Welcome to the Open Heavens Daily Devotional of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Oklahoma City. The Open Heavens uh, Daily Devotional is written by our Father in the Lord, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E. A. Adibwe. This morning, as we are starting uh, our day in God's presence, I believe that the blessings that God has for us we will actually step into the fullness of it in the name of Jesus. Uh, today, the 31st of July, the title of today's uh, Open Heavens devotional is Faith, Obedience, and Miracle. But before we go into God's work, can we just say a brief word of prayer? Father, Lord, we thank you once again for the privilege to start our day with you. We thank you also for making us see the end of this month. We pray that as we feast on your word, you will bless us richly. You will nourish our soul. And the blessings which you have for us, that God will, will the blessings will not miss, will not miss out of it. And that God will pray that the blessings shall abide with us in the name of Jesus. Open our eyes of understanding to your word in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. The title of uh, this morning devotional is Faith obedience and miracles again faith obedience and miracle our memory verse is taken from john chapter 2 verse 5 john chapter 2 verse 5 his mother said unto him this mother said unto the servant whatsoever he said unto you do it again his mother said unto his servant whatsoever he said unto you do it and our Bible passage is taken from the book of John chapter 2 from verses 1 to 11. John chapter 2 from verses 1 to 11. That's the story of the miracle uh, when uh, Jesus Christ, that was the first miracle that Jesus Christ actually uh, did when he turned water into wine. There was a wedding in uh, Cana and Jesus Christ was there. The wine finished and then uh, Mary went to, told his disciples that whatever Jesus Christ tells you, do it. And because they heeded unto his instruction, they saw the miracle manifest. They saw the miracle of God. They saw God doing his first miracle and they encountered the miraculous on that day. So today, is anybody expecting the miraculous? Are you expecting God to do something great, something miraculous, something that will be to you, something that you see, it appears as if all hope will lost, all hope is lost. God is still in the business of uh, doing the miraculous. If only you will obey Him. If only you have faith in Him. And as we go into God's word, I believe that God will begin to open our eyes so that we begin to take that step of faith. Areas where we need to obey Him, God begins to open our eyes. And henceforth, we will begin to walk in the miracle. Our life shall be an embodiment of miracles. And we will live a life, it will, our life should be, we will live a life, uh, uh, a miraculous life in the name of Jesus. In today's devotional, here, uh, we thought that miracles are simply God's supernatural intervention in natural world, which suspends the law of nature. Do you, has your life always been based on the natural laws of nature god can suspend those laws of nature for your be on your behalf god can bypass all those things on your behalf god still is still in the business of doing those things god's perform miracles to show his sovereignty over the over uh his created world god will perform a miracle in your life so that he can showcase you to the world and showcase and show to the world that he is still a god that he is doing miracles that he is still the sovereign god in other words through miracles it shows that none of his creations can stand in his way whenever he decides to do anything for example contrary to the law of nature sarah got pregnant and had a child after she had passed the age of childbearing unfortunately many people desire miracles and are not ready to fulfill the requirements that brings about this manifestation. And that's what we'll be talking about. What are the requirements to encountering the miraculous? God wants us to obey Him and God wants to have faith in Him. Those two are essential in And that's why the title is Faith, Obedience, and Miracle. How do we unlock the door to the miraculous? The, the topic of today's devotional gives an insight into it. Firstly, we must live a life that is pleasing to God. If we want 
is supernatural intervention in our life we and we please god we have to please god by living a life of faith now the miracle at canaan you could realize that it's of course let me just uh, explain what happened there of course most of us are actually aware of that story these are people who are celebrating you might be encountering things might be going on well for you you might be uh uh you might have peace, everything going on with you, your career, your business, everything. And you might be so complacent to the point that you feel that you don't need God. But here in the in the uh, in John chapter 2, these people were celebrating, they were happy. But in the midst of the celebrate, in the midst of the celebration, they invited God into their celebration. So the fact that things are going well for you does not mean you cannot invite God into your celebration. You cannot invite God into your life. Because when the storm arose, when they were out of the essential ingredients of their celebration the wine when they ran out of wine god because they invited their they invited god into their life they invited god into their presence god was able to intervene and even the bridegroom never knew that the wine has finished but because god was in their midst god intervened god will intervene in your life in the name of jesus god will prevent you will prevent you from encountering shame god prevented Jesus Christ prevented this groom, but this bride and the bridegroom from encountering shame in the midst of their celebration. He intervened on time. God will intervene on time in your on your behalf in the name of Jesus. You just need to obey him and invite him to your life and actually live the life that is pleasing and he wants you to live. The scripture says in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6, it says, But without faith, it is impossible to please him. The word faith has a deeper meaning than many people imagine. For example, it is the lack of faith in God that makes people sin. Adam and Eve lacked faith in one who placed them in the garden of Eden and told them who placed them in the garden of Eden and told them what to eat and not what and what not to eat. They doubted God's integrity and believed the lie of the devil. There's someone watching me. You are in doubt. You're thinking, ah, can God intervene in my situation? The word that God has spoken over my life, the instruction that God has given me, I've been following it. And now there seems to be uh, an escape, seemingly escape path. The devil is trying to tempt me. I want you to see, I want to tell you, stay faithful on the instruction. Stay faithful on that path that God has placed for you. And you begin to see the miraculous in your life. God wants to glorify himself through you. He just wants you to obey him and be faithful to him. Due to the presence of sin, God's supernatural intervention, which either to make things happen easily, departed from the lives of Adam, that's from their life, that's Adam and him. Beloved, Jesus said to you today, have faith in God. Trust in him. Have faith in him. Another key which unlocks the miraculous is obedience to the word of God. As a matter of fact, disobedience is a product of having no faith. When a person lacks faith in God, the tendency is that is there to follow and to disobey God with impunity. You can hardly obey the, the fellow you do not have faith in. It is therefore ironical that miracle that miracle working God is being disobeyed by those who seek miracle. From experience, Jesus' mother knew the link between obedience and walking in miracle. That's why she told his disciples in John chapter 2, verse 5 that whatsoever he said unto you, do it. God wants you to do some things. Yeah, he wants you to take those steps of it. He has placed some instruction in front of you. God wants you to do. You see, the disciples, Jesus Christ told them, pour this water in this jar. They poured it. He told them, go and serve it. He even tell them to taste it. Sometimes my son, in my same uh, that, that, that might actually might not seem reasonable, logical. He told them, go and serve the uh, the master, the, uh, the the chairman of the occasion. But as they took it and they gave the chairman of the occasion, the miraculous occurred. So God wants you to take that step for faith. And as you take that step for faith, God will begin to, uh, uh, the miraculous will begin to be made manifest in your life. When the servants did what Jesus Christ instructed them to do, they experienced the miraculous. Other examples are found in the Bible, which shows the connection between faith and obedience on one hand, and between obedience and miracles on the other hand. The story of uh, Naaman is another good example. Below, if you desire to open the door of miracles in your life, have faith in God of the miracles and obey Him completely. As you do those two things, God will begin to uh, uh, do miraculous things in your life. You will begin to live a life full of miracles. Peter. 
told Jesus Christ, if you bid me to come, and he took that step, as he took that step of faith, he began to walk on waters. So you will begin to walk upon the storms and the waters of your life, the waters that might want to overwhelm you in the name of Jesus. But God wants you to have faith in him, and you'll be obedient to him. So the action point for today is that exercise your faith in God today to be to obtain your desired miracles from him. God wants you to exercise that faith in God today so that you begin to obtain the desired miracles in the name of Jesus. If you do not have faith, God wants you to have faith in him. So today, let's just pray that, Father Lord, give me the grace to be obedient to your word. Give me the grace to be able to obey your word and have that full trust and faith in you. And God, as I take that step of faith, that God will turn my situation around. Let me encounter the miraculous and let me live in the supernatural in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you because we know we'll begin to walk in the supernatural and we we'll begin to encounter the miraculous. For in Jesus' name we are, we are praying. I hope you are blessed by today's devotional. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow.